So, hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon. I hope you guys had a wonderful holidays. Um, it's that time of year again when we are wrapping up a year and um, we are all reflecting and what happened, you know, throughout the year. For me, I am, you know, grateful. I am very um, blessed and I am also thankful. And I thank you guys so much for sticking with me throughout the year. Thank you all for your continuous support. Thanks for bad comments. Thanks for good comments because you all watch the show. And that's the reason why you are able to make comments. I know I have not been, um, you know, um, on time with the videos most of the time. And sometimes I come on and I be like, you know, video is going to be a 10 every day, but it just don't happen. And that is all because of life and reality. In real life, sometimes we are on time and sometimes we are not. The goal is always to try to be on time, okay? Now, come next year, I'm going to try to be on time. But if I'm not on time, the very good thing about that is that my die-hearted subscribers will be there and always is there for me. And because of that, I feel that when people give to you, when people extend themselves to you, you need to show appreciation. And that's what we're going to be doing on the show later on within the half an hour upwards. I am going to be showing my appreciation in terms of giving back to some of you who are always, always, always there. Some of you I know by name, not by face or anything, just by the names. And I'm going to show my appreciation and give back. This is not a sponsored video. This is me using... Um, my own personal money, which some of you guys allow me to have a little extra to give back to you guys something from it. It's no means or way of showing off ourselves. Some people might find it, oh, you're giving away gifts like your, no, it's just a way of giving back, showing appreciation. And I think in life, people need to give back. Not every time that you give back, do you want it to be advertise. I give back a lot with no form of a camera, but the only way to give back to some of you is to do a live show and show my appreciation. We will be giving back starting round about the up and hour mark, which is about five o'clock. So before we get there, we are going to talk a little bit about how you can, you know, have yourself looking amazing for 2020 tips when it comes on to skincare that you can actually start practicing if you have not yet started to take care of your self. The end of the year, you might not have been like, you know, what you do, what you want to do for yourself. And I'm talking about for you, not for the kids, not for your parents, not for the hobby, but for you, for you to motivate yourself, for you to enhance yourself, for you to feel good about yourself and when all of that is happening you are going to take care of your skin for you to look amazing great looking skin okay some people are blessed with great looking skin some of us have to really work on it okay now it don't take much to look amazing okay to each his own but i'm here to tell you if your hair is looking amazing if you comb your hair nice regardless of how you wear your hair and your skin is looking radiant regardless of your skin tone, your skin is looking amazing, people will take notice, okay? And once your skin is looking amazing, your skin is looking hydrated and refreshed, what is going to happen is that people are going to notice, but you are going to feel good about yourself because coming off, you're going to see for yourself that you do look younger, your skin is amazing, and with the, all of that, you're going to feel better within yourself. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty. This is our last Sunday chit chat for 2019. So we're going to make it good. We're going to talk about skincare. We're going to do our giveaway. I'm going to give the shout out and I'm going to tell you some people, call some people.
people name out that really and truly was always like every video, even if it's a crappy video, even if the editing is a little off, you watch and you still comment and be like, oh, such a nice video. Like, you know, really, 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 really there. I'm a crier, but I'm not here to cry today. I'm here to smile with you and feel good. And at the same time, give you advice on how to take care of your skin. If this is your first time watching a live um chat with Chichi Beauty, feel free to comment so we could give you your shout out. Also, keep it clean. This is a family friendly channel. So keep your comments clean, 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 clean. Um, Talal, Bati, how are you? Hello, Karen McDowell. Hello, Jason, Ma Marisol, Marabu, um, T. Eileen, I think that's how you pronounce. Um, hello, Natural Beauty, eat it. How are you? We also have Lucy. Hi, Lucy. We have Karen, Millie Riz. I'm so happy you're on today, Millie Riz. I know you probably be like, she always messed my name up, but I'm very, very happy you're on today. I'm Latchman, um, Soker, I think. I think that's how it is. Felicia Gomez, um, Caramella, Caramella, Carmela, Carmela B. And we have Margaret. Congrats to the upcoming winners. Yes. Amina Ramley. Hello, Amina. And we also have Cheryl Williams, regular nowadays, S-T-S-E-R-E-S-E-T -E -E now. Um, Kathleen Wade. And we also have um um, Magdalene, hello, Magdalene, Annette Williams. Hi, Annette. Constantine Sims. Hello, Rita. What happened to you for a few of our live chat? You were missed. I still give you a shout out, even though you weren't here. I normally know when you're not watching, Rita. All right. So anyway, Rita is a regular on the chat. We also have... Um, Felisa, I just mentioned Felisa. And guess what, guys? Uh, believe it or not, I, um, I am just... Um, getting home like three minutes ago let's say five minutes ago i just got home i went out to get some grocery for the kids as you know they're all here and uh, it's just like a little tradition for me to make them fish mostly like crab legs and stuff like that on, on first of the year the day um, New Year's Day. So little old me went out with them, didn't know we were going to take such a long time. And that's why I know some of you didn't get the notification because I I went out forgetting to hit the public button. So nobody got notification. But guess what? I wasn't worried because I'm so confident that you guys going to be here. So five minutes to the time I'm rushing in and here I am. What I did, I didn't even plan on wearing this today, to be honest. I was, was going to put on a nice little top, bright colors with a little hat to, you know, show that I'm doing some giveaway. Hello, Taran G. How are you? Keith Joseph. Hello, Nora Nani. How are you? And we also have Constant. I always watch, but don't make comments. So today I will. And definitely you need to comment. Very, very important. And one of the reasons why it's important for you to comment when you watch because we take note of it and sometimes i like to know who is watching if you don't comment i cannot like give you a shout out or acknowledge that you are there and that you are watching and i really like to you know let you know that i appreciate you watching so commenting is really really good all right so um denier how are you all right guys so we have to talk a little about the, the topic you all know that right we have to talk about the topic so what are you going to be doing for the coming year to make yourself look, you know, better? It doesn't matter how you look. You could look a little better. And some of us sometimes think that, you know, it's only people with money that look good. No. Mm -mm. What a lot of these people do is spend a lot of time taking care of themselves. What we do, because we don't have money, we work really, really hard and we forget about ourselves. People with money work really, really hard too. It's just that they have their money to pay people to come and lay back while, you know, probably still, you know, balancing the, the book well, somebody will always balance that or signing some check they are somebody you know doing their face and they can pay a lot of money to get people to really exfoliate their face for them by going to the spa or bringing the spa home to them now we out here a lot of us some of us have money some of us don't but we all can use 
things around the house, uh, in the kitchen, and help us to look just as amazing. And it is a no joke. The only thing that a person with a lot, when it comes on to skincare, the only thing a person with a lot of money is going to have over you with little to no money is that they might want to go and do extra to their face, like some Botox or some facelifting or some skin tightening. And some of us without money, we won't be able to do that. But guess what most of us don't want to do it anyway so this channel is all about showing you how you can use the natural ingredient how you can do some facial massages at home or you can use some coconut oil and some brown sugar to exfoliate your skin to have your skin looking amazing looking fresh and basically with your amazing skin you could stand beside anybody that is using thousand of dollar to look amazing and you're going to be right up there because when it comes on to skincare the only thing that matters is a dedication believe it or not dedication you could take some baking soda with some olive oil and use it on your skin for a year and you have a celebrity out there or so-called let's say not everybody with money is celebrity someone with a whole lot of money that is going to get their face exfoliated by someone else and you're gonna look just as amazing the trick is to know what to use what to mix and what you can combine to get awesome result and this is what this channel is all about teaching you how to use next to nothing to have your skin looking amazing welcome to sunday chit chat with chichi beauty if you are just joining in so for next year those of you who have not yet starting to take care of your skin there are three simple steps that you can take to better your skin and i'm just gonna lay the three out and then i get into details the first step is to always wash your face the second step is to always exfoliate and not only your face but your entire body exfoliate the face and the third step is always to use some form of a facial toner moisturizer or some form of a serum i'm gonna add a fourth step to that regardless of your age and the fourth step is to massage your face or do some facial um exercises those are gonna take your face to the next level now when it comes on to facial massages and facial exercises there are many that you can practice as home or you can even choose to use tools as a lot of people are using facial tools today if you can afford those they do have some very very cheap one and we'll get into that later if not the best tools that you can find yourself with is your hands okay as cheap as it gets you don't have to pay for it okay you can use your hand to massage your face or to do your facial exercises the trick is to know what to do and that is what you are going to start off doing coming here so that you can look amazing two months into it it's gonna show no joke for those of you with sagging skin for those of you with the deep parentheses once you know the massage or the exercise to do for your face it's gonna help you tremendously because that is what you are going to be focusing on all right washing the face we all need to wash our face some people don't give into washing the face because they think that it's stripped the oils from the face to each his own but personally for me i like to wash my face twice per day now when you um walk around even in your house they are pollution from the environment they are dust and all of these things that just fall right on your skin all right so you need to help the skin out by washing the skin off if you choose to wash your skin am and pm without doing anything else to the skin is your skin gonna look amazing? Well, 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 well. You're not gonna walk around with the every dirt on the skin, but you need to do a little further in terms of having it looking radiant. But some people can just wash their skin and it look amazing and it all depends on what you use to wash your skin. Now, there are many things that you can use to wash your skin. You can use a face wash that you get in the store or you can make your own homemade facial wash. 
no joke. You can make some green tea and you can actually squeeze some orange juice in it and you can use that to wash your face. What is happening to your face with that? The orange and the green tea have wrinkle fighting antioxidant. It have vitamin C and it's going to help you to clear the skin. Now, if you have makeup on, these remedy can, these um, face wash can actually help to get the makeup off too. So to each his own, but wash your face two times a day and try to use something that you, that is good good for your skin type to wash your face. When you're looking for a good face wash on the market, you're going to have oily, you're going to have water-based, and you're going to have face wash even for dry skin. Now, if you don't have the money to buy a face wash, use the homemade remedy. And a quick and easy way to wash the face and get rid of all the dirt is to use a facial rug or facial washcloth. And that is in the form of exfoliating the face, which is the second step that we all need to practice to have clean skin. So this next year coming on 2020, you are gonna make sure to wash your face at least twice per day. If you choose to wash only once per day, then get yourself some wet facial cloth and wipe your face before you go to bed. You need to get the grease off. Hours goes by and the the oil and grease is going to seep through the pores and you need to clean that off before you apply your nighttime products, your nighttime serum, your nighttime moisturizer. And that is the reason why we need to cleanse the face at night. So definitely practice to start, start practicing to wash your face at least twice per day if you want to look amazing. If not, as I said, an alternative is wash AM, RPM and use a uh, facial wipe to wipe your face, you know, when you're not washing your face. All right, so let's go and take some comments. Um, hello, Ma, your scrubbing masks are amazing. Thank you so much for that. And I use my own person. I have not bought a facial scrub for a long, 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 long time. No joke. I make my own. The one I share with you, those are the ones that I use on my face. The Lowry St. Catherine, season greeting, everyone, season greeting. Um, Juliana Roberts, Robert's son, how are you? Alexa D, what about using and eating green vegetables? And that is actually a very, 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 very good comment. Eating a lot of green leaf vegetables, you are going to get a lot of nutrients, a lot of antioxidant out of that that is great for your skin. But what it's going to do also, it's going to help to flush the system out, okay? And when the system is clean, sometimes I don't go too much into the, the, the detoxing and all of that because it's just a thin line and, you know, certain things could get a little when it comes on to medical that we don't want to get into. But definitely having a good homemade drink that might help to flush the system out and I do have some on my channels I know that you guys might notice I don't make a lot of those anymore and because it's the policy on YouTube I've changed a lot so it's a very 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 thin line so we kind of try to stay away from some of those things but yes flush the system out eat a lot of green leaf vegetables and it's gonna cleanse your system you're gonna get the nutrients from it and your skin is gonna look amazing especially vegetables with vitamin K. Vitamin K is going to help to fight those wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. And we'll get deeper into that um, when it comes on to the areas around the eyes. All right. Makeup forever. Great advice. Thank you. And that, thank you so much, Mohammed. Ruslan, I think that is your advice. Work great for me. And thank you for that. Vicky Daz, how do you get rid of skin tags? Well, there are many remedies that you can use. And there's some that I shared on this channel that I personally believe in. One that I see that really, really works well is that good old banana peel. And that sound like, oh, that was like gimmick. At first, I used to think it was gimmick too, until I start to make, you know, remedies using the banana peel and sharing it with other people. However, you got to be dedicated, okay? You got to like keep doing it. It's not going to let it fall off the very night that you use it. No, you got to keep doing it, rubbing it on, rubbing it on. Mix that that banana in a peel with some... Um, apple cider vinegar that works amazing and you can also go on my channel just type in um 
skin tags and you'll see a couple of videos that i have on it with some amazing remedies okay um felisa i have never exfoliate the skin i need to and i'm so glad i saw this comment now felisa and for all of you who is on the channel watching you need to exfoliate the skin if you don't choose to do a facial mask, I suggest you exfoliate the skin. And the reason for that is that the skin sheds. If you are old, bear with me. You hear this every day, almost, once you come on the channel. But it's a must when it comes on to skin care. The skin do shed. And the skin will take care of itself. But the fact that we have pollution, all of these environment factors that is happening, we need to help the skin. When you watch like a lizard that changes, its skin sometimes you're gonna notice the ox the shell is right there and it's like taking forever to come off it's the same thing with the face or the your body on a whole your skin on a whole you just don't see it like that if you should look on your bed under a microscope you would be like blown away of the amount of dead skin that is on the bed from when you sleep your body do shed don't see it with the naked eyes you can see it with a microscope so what you need to do is to exfoliate the skin to get rid of or to help the skin to get rid of all that dead shell for say and leave your skin bright so when we come on this channel and i'm like oh use this um facial scrub to brighten and lighten the skin what we are simply saying is that the facial scrub is going to get rid of old skin which was going to shed anyway or is shedding and it's going to leave the new skin and because the new skin is not exposed to the environment that new skin is going to look soft supple bright and radiant and that's basically how it is so when you notice a lot of people like walking around and their skin is look have you ever get yourself a facial even if the one you do at home and when you're done you could see that dewy that your face just look clean like really, really clean, that is because the scrub work. So you're gonna practice this year, simple remedy you can use. You When you really get into it, you might be like, bye bye Chi Chi, I'm gonna go buy one at the store because I really need some new stuff. But exfoliating the skin 2020, you got to exfoliate your skin. I suggest you exfoliate at least two to three times per week. Don't have the time, exfoliate the skin at least twice per week and you are gonna notice a great difference. And I'm saying this with confidence, it's no joke. You're gonna notice something different about your skin. Simple remedy, most time you're gonna go out there, you're gonna find a facial scrub and the base might be brown sugar or white sugar. The base might also be almond, they grind those almond. The base could also be some a mixture of um a baking soda the base can also be a mixture of um what else do i use some form of a walnut shell that's a very common one with facial scrub and the base could also be rice now what happened is that you need something with a bit of a granules that when you rub it on the skin it give a little bit of friction and not too hard and not too soft and that is going to clear the skin of all the impurities and get into those pores and clean out those grease and dirt and then when you lay your toner on top of that and your serum and all of that it's going to be able to absorb a better in the skin for those of you with a lot of blackheads and whitehead you should make exfoliating your skin your best friend practice it for the coming year practice to exfoliate your skin for a month for those of you who have not yet exfoliate the skin and come back and leave a comment i'm almost sure i could tell you what you're gonna say because you're gonna see a huge difference to the skin now i'm just gonna stray a little bit and talk about how some you know like if you're in a community and you're gonna have this one person that always look amazing the person clothes is gonna look good but the person face is gonna look good also the skin is gonna look great and you're gonna be like oh mm, she look good like that because they have money no nope. she take care of her skin starting to take a look at people who you might in your mind look good and those are the people, if you really take a deeper look, you're going to notice that those are the people who are considered to be fussy. And those are the people who 
They want the facial done. They want this. They're trying that. They're trying that. It's all about dedication, okay? If you use just some brown sugar and olive oil on your skin for a month, twice per week, you're going to see great difference. It's about dedication. You're using just sugar and olive oil, and another person is going to use a $45 facial scrub. You're going to reap basically the same benefit if you dedicate yourself to it. Not saying not to try new things, not saying not to go out there and enjoy the wonderful variety of skincare products out there on the market. What I'm saying, if you can't afford, make your own and keep making it and using it until you could afford to buy something else out there, which is going to, most cases, contain some of the very ingredient that you are using at home. Alexi, what about tightening the skin around the eye area? Is okra juice good for that? And we have been getting a lot of, let's think mid-year last, um, this year, people have been asking about the okra. People have been, and I'm always promising I'm going to go that route. I am not yet finished up with this okra thing, but I I am going to come back. However, when you do research the okra, it's out there that it really helps with wrinkles and fine lines around the eyes. I am yet to, I like to just try these things and have a fair idea if it's really going to work or suggest it to somebody, see if it works before I come back here and be like, yeah, the okra do work. And I use myself a lot to try these things. I like to be the first one to say, mm -hmm. been using it for a week or two weeks and it's good. So that's how I make my videos, guys. I don't really just like, you know, like, all right, so they say the okra is good and I'm going to make a video, give it to you guys and say the okra is good. No, I like to try it for myself first. And if I see some means and ways in which it is working, whether it's me or my friend or whatever, then I come back on and say, you know what, guys, they are onto something. So I'm just keeping it real with you. I'm not yet there with the okra, but it's on the list for testing. Okay. All right. So we have Julia Simmons. I said, thank you for all your information. Your skin is beautiful. I hope to look as clean as, as you do when I get there. Happy New Year's when it comes. And Juliet, you can, you can, you can. What you need to do is to try some of my remedies and be dedicated to it and do some facial massages while you are at it. Try to have your skin looking, looking amazing in 2020. And guess what, guys? What I like to say to you guys is, I am on here a lot telling you guys to take care of your skin. But what I'm actually doing sometimes is not only telling you to take care of your skin, I'm actually trying to get you to spend time with yourself. Some of you are so busy. You totally forget yourself. Some of you are so dedicated to, you know, once the children are okay, then you are, no, 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 no. Spend some time with yourself. Spend some quality time with yourself. Half an hour is all I'm asking. One hour is all I'm asking. For the week, all I'm asking for is like two hours for yourself. And what you're going to notice is that you are going to feel so good about yourself. You are going to be glowing. You're going to be more relaxed because you're doing this for yourself and you're not only doing this for yourself, but you are seeing results. You ever notice some people when they start to take care of their self, oh, their attitude change? Their attitude change because they're starting to like, mm, and people are like, what is going on with that person? That person is feeling good because they're taking care of themselves. Now they want to go out more. They want to meet people and, you know, you know, just, just, just do something for you. Do something for you. This channel, our motto is taking care of you, feeling good about you. And that is what you're going to get when you spend 15 minutes to whip some brown sugar and some olive oil or some coconut oil with some baking soda and you use it on your face. And when you're done, you rub your face and the face feel so soft and nice. You feel good. You feel good. You want to try it again. And you want to also tell somebody that, mm, I tried this and it's amazing. Okay. All right. So Annette, people remember to thumbs up the show. Okay. Yes, 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 guys. Sometimes I forget. I get so carried away when I'm passionate about a topic that I forget to tell you guys that, you know, if you're liking the topic, you like the show, give the video a thumbs up to show your support. That's all we know. People like the topic and all of that. And to thumbs the 
video up, you loop below the video, you're going to see a thumb like this and you're going to see one like that. You can really choose whichever one, but personally for me, I prefer if you click on the one with the thumbs up. Okay. All right. Marta, um, actually, can we get facial exercise in your videos? Yes. And, um, I have several of those, but what I think I'll probably will do next year at the end of most of the video, I'll show at least one, one technique where it comes on to facial exercises. I do some older videos with that and I have some facial exercises and massages video. I'll rewind them and work them over and come back and give you guys some new stuff and also will encourage facial exercises and massages um, throughout the videos. Um, Adriana, Otis, please help. I really... I've really dry skin. It looked dead. What can I do? You got to exfoliate the skin and you got to moisturize the skin. I suggest you exfoliate the skin two to three times per week with a moisturizing exfoliator, meaning some coconut oil, olive oil, or almond oil, or even some grapeseed oil. Mix that in with your brown sugar or your white sugar. You can even try the rice, which is I really and truly love. You blend the rice and you tip some orange juice in it and you use that to exfoliate your skin. And when you are done, you apply the facial toner and always, always use a moisturizer. Now you are gonna use a heavier moisturizer, okay? They have light ones and they have heavier ones. You're gonna use the heavier ones because your skin is dry, okay? And you are gonna moisturize your face at these twice per day twice per day moisturize your face and layer it get yourself a facial serum or a good facial oil blend use it on top of your facial toner you don't have a facial toner make one for yourself boil some green tea or some chamomile tea and just had some um olive oil, a little touch dough, or some almond oil, or better yet, get a full recipe by watching one of my facial toner video. Wash your face, exfoliate your face at least three times per week, and use a facial toner and a moisturizer and a serum on your face, and you're good to go. No joke, you gotta remember to do it however, okay? During the course of the day, you can also choose to add your facial toner to a bottle and spritz your face halfway through the day. I need some water, guys. So, oh, I got to cover it up. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think it's the first time I ever take a water break. But, you know, it's the end of the year and I'm feeling good. All right, guys. So, it actually is... Uh, 30 minutes into it. So I guess it's that time of a year again. All right. So you exfoliate your face. You got to make sure to exfoliate your face for the new year. And I suggest everyone try to add a facial toner. If you have not yet started using a facial toner, you are going to start to use a facial toner for the coming year because you want your face to look younger, okay? A facial toner is what is going to hydrate the skin. For those of you with dry skin, you need to use a facial toner. Everyone need a facial toner. Some people mistake a facial toner for cleansing the face. No, the facial toner is not to cleanse the face. The facial toner is to refresh the face, to hydrate the face and prepare the face for your facial serum and your facial moisturizer. So exfoliate twice per week at least. Use a facial toner, AM and PM. And for those of you with dry skin, you could spritz it on your face like midday and you can also carry it in your bag and just spritz it over your makeup to keep your face hydrated. And all of that depending on where you live. Your environment have a lot to do with how your skin is looking, okay? And then you are gonna try to add the serum. And during next year, we're gonna talk a lot about serum and toners because I want you guys to know how to layer these things. Twice a week, you do a facial scrub. So here what you do for better skin in 2020. Wash your face twice per day. Exfoliate your skin at least two to three times per week. Use a facial mask at least two to three times a week. The facial mask is tricky depending on your skin. If you have dry skin, use a facial mask that is geared toward dry skin that have some form of oil. If you have oily skin, use a facial mask that have more liquid, more watery base. And if you have normal skin, just play around, use whatever you want to use in terms of facial mask. If you have wrinkled skin, you're getting on in age, 
preferably a clay-based facial mask next year. We're going to get a little more professional on the show and we're going to get a little more technical because when I post video, I'm going to tell you exactly who this facial mask or this facial serum or this facial wash is good for, what skin type or, you know, what is... It is made for whether it's for wrinkles, whether it's for hydrating the skin. And we're going to have all of that in the description box so that when you guys see the video, you will know if this one is for you or this one is not for you. Still watch if it's not for you, okay? So you could share it with somebody else. All right, so those are the basic steps and we're going to talk more about it in the coming year. But because the time is going, we want to start the giveaway the giveaway the giveaway the giveaway so i have my family here with me and i am gonna call them in to introduce themselves to you guys well let me see if there's a comment asking anything are you keeping your vlog channel yes the vlog channel is gonna be lit okay the vlog channel is coming with a lot of vlogging coming the, in the new year which january 1st we're gonna start the vlog three times a week it's gonna be posted on coming family let's do some giveaways so we're i'm gonna introduce my family for those of you who don't know my family some of you already know some of you don't so here they come and you guys have to like yeah Hi, this is Merry this is Christmas. it all right so here i have Happy holidays. okay all right so come around one at a time so here is shanique and Happy she's holidays. my niece and she's always around holidays <laughs> so this is my niece some of you already know shanique so this is my niece Hi, shanique. and come next person and this is my adopted child, <laughs> Trudy. Say hello to the people. Hi, everyone. My and, name is Trudy. <laughs> and they're all here. And come around. And this is my nephew. Hello, everyone. Oshane. And some of you already know Oshane from last year. And they're going to be my helper today with the gift given. So what we're going to do, we're going to do what? Shaking up some boxes or shaking up some so stuff? And picking out a few names. Now, guys, we are going to try to give away. Now, listen, listen. I can't afford to give out on something. I'm going to do my best, however. So I'm going to try to give away 10 gifts this year. Yes, we're stepping it up this year. We're going to do 10 giveaway. However, I am going to be calling a few names that is not going to be in the bag. I just select these names from, you know, the support, the comment, and blah, 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 blah. So those names are not going to be in the bag. They're going to be separate. But for those of you who have been commenting on the chat for the past two months, your name is already in this bag, and we're going to shake it up, and I'm going to try to give 10 gifts away. Guys, if you don't get something know that it's not my wish i wish i could give everyone something and each year we're growing so each year we're adding more if you don't get something this time you know don't stop watching next time you just might be lucky and uh, during the year we might have some little mini give mini giveaways like we was doing years ago so we're going to bring all of that back so just bear with me and know that my intention is to give everyone something but because i can't i can Give away like about 10 or so. We're going to shake it up. So it's still like a raffle. All right. So if you have not yet comment, now you understand why I was telling you up to two months ago to comment to say something because we do this. We are not bragging. We're not going to say what we're giving away. We're going to show some packages. What you need to do, if your name is called, you are going to send your address, your phone number to Chichi Beauty at gmail.com this is open to international it's only if i really really try try depending on where you live that i really can get it there then i won't get it there and we'll figure something out but everyone that is in here it's not only american it's all of you guys that is on this chat and so far we have been good when it comes on to the giveaways as i said on friday it was just one person that i didn't get that gift to and i always will remember that she didn't get her gift so now we are going to do some shaking and in between that i'm going to be calling some name once you hear your name you're going to send your address and your phone number to chichibeauty at gmail.com put on the top big letters um gif just title it 
gift in the subject line. Okay. So guys, I can't see you this time. You guys probably need to bend a little or something. Are, are the knees good? All right. Come up. See, the, this is the camera. All so right, we're gonna do our first. Mm -hmm. All right, they're gonna take over. All right, the first name I'm gonna choose from this bag. Can open your phone, please. I want nothing to do with the choosing other names. <laughs> so, all right. All right, so you can read this one. Bend your heads, we can't see you. You read it mm -hmm. for me. All right, this is Elizabeth Larzozo. Larzozo. Or Larzozo. Okay, let me see. Are you are first. So our first gift is for Elizabeth Lersoso. If you're on the chat, comment and let me see you. Elizabeth um, Lersoso. Is Elizabeth on the chat? We need a bottle to put these in. So we have, um, all right, I'll just put them on the deck. Okay, Elizabeth, we're going to call the names over along the way. So the first gift is for Elizabeth Lersoso, L-E-R-S-O. Oh, oh, so no comment. So maybe she's not on. But this, if you see Elizabeth around the chat, let her know that her gift is gift number one. Now, all these packages, let's give an idea what the gift's going to look like. We're going to have gift like looking like this that is going to be delivered to your address that you provide for us. Okay? We're not saying what is in the gift. You got the packages, you just have to trust me on it. Some of you already know that I do give good gifts. So, <laughs> so you know, for the newbies, you know, you just have to um, trust us on what is going to be in the package. All right. So let's see. Elizabeth is not spell it out so I could spell. All right. So the spelling is E L I Z A B E T H. And the last word is L-E-R-S-O-O. -O. So let me just write it on the chat for you guys to see. E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H-L-E-R-S-O-S-O. -S -O. Did I make it right? L-E-R-S-O-S-O. -S -O. All right, so S. Oh, what is going on with this A? L E R S O S O. All right, so it's going to be on the board. And there it is. That's the spelling that we have E L I Z A B E T H S O S O. All right, so that's for number one. Now, there's no order in which we are doing the gift giving. It doesn't mean that if your name is first, you get a bigger gift, or if your name is second, you get a bigger gift. No, it's right across the board, okay? It's right across the board that we are giving equal value, all right? So, and we, as I said, guys, it's not a sponsored video. This is me just giving back to some of you that has really been supporting the chat. We're not bragging. We're not, you know, Santa Claus. We're just, you know, doing our thing on this channel. So next person, come to the, all right. So our lucky person, lucky number two is Yaman Ganem. Hmm. So that's this one is funny. This is not there, right? Not so just Y-M-A-N. So our next winner is Y-M-A-N-G-H-A-N-E-M. I'm going to write it down. I don't know this person, so it's probably just a really lucky um, winner right here. Most of the names sometimes I might be like, oh, I saw that name on the chat. This one, no. But the person did comment, so... G H A E M G H A N G H A N E M G H A E no G H A G H A N E M G H A N E M and Y M A N. All right, so that is a number two. For number two, we have. I don't know if it's Iman. We're going to call it Iman Ganem, N-E-M, Ganem. And if you are watching or you're going to watch after, you have to send your 
Phone number is very important. If you have one and your home address, don't forget the zip code if you have a zip code. Okay, if you don't have a zip code, make sure to send your full address and the phone number. All right, so we are moving on to gift number three. Number three is it. All right, Oshin, come pull out a mail out of the bag. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see who Oshin is going to pull out. Else, Lobin. All yeah. right. There's a lot of strange okay. names. Essie, uh, oh, I think I see this name before. I'm going to mess up the, the pronunciation, but we're going to give the spelling. So it's uh, Lamobion. Mm -hmm. So it's Essie Lamobion. I think I get it, the last name wrong, but we're going to write it. And it's E S E, and it's L M O U B I O N. And if you are watching, and L M O U B I O N. All right, so that's the name of the third winner. Essie, if you are watching, comment, 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 comment. It's funny, these people are not here to die. All right, so moving on to number four. Number four. Number four. All right. Number Let's four. See. I'm still looking to see if the comment. Guys, if you're liking the show today, please remember Lisa to. Lisa McLean. Lisa McLean. Lisa McLean. Oh, this sounds like a common name. So it's Lisa McLean. If you're on, let's write this one. L I S A Lisa M C L E A N. If you are on the chat, you need to send your address and phone number so we could send your little something something out. Wow, so far, none of these names on the chat. So far, all right. Come on, Shanique, pull something out. What number are we, Trudy? What number, number are we? Number five. Number five. Keep a talk about the number. Number, number five. five. So our lucky number per uh lucky number five person is Claudia Maram. Oh boy. Claudia Maram. I've seen this before. All right, so let me write this one. C A L. U D I A. Yeah, this is Claudu Kaludia. Kaludia. Right. Kaludia. Probably Spanish. M A R A M. Let's see. So far, Kaludia Maram. Is there anyone on the chat with that name? Kaludia Maram. All right. So we are halfway with the gift given. So the fact that we are halfway. Um, they're picking names out of a bag for the giveaway, but I have some names that I personally pick from the, not from the chat comment, but for years, the entire year, people have been commenting, 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 commenting that I, you know, think that with that continuous, constant commenting and watching every video deserves something. And the first name that I have is Millie Riz. And you are one person that we are going to give a little giveaway to, just a little token of appreciation. As a matter of fact, when we add up all of the comment throughout the year, you are like the top commenter the top person that watches like 99% of the videos and not only watch, but you also comment. If you're still on, I know you were on earlier. I'm not sure if you are still around, but if you're still on, you know what to do. Send your phone number, your address, home address, so we could send a little token out to you to show our appreciation. So let's see if Miller is, is still on the chat, all right? And you guys that watch constantly might also know who Miller is. I, and I normally mess the name up, so I'm trying to make sure I find the correct spelling since she was on earlier. All right, so we are moving on. So that's one person, and I'll write the name in a minute that is gonna get a giveaway. All right, so moving on, let's go to gift number six. 
Seven. Seven, number seven. Oh, a seven already? No, we're not counting the one that I mentioned. Oh, That's oh, not okay. a part of it. So six. give number six, yeah. Number six. It's number six. Here we go. So guys, we're technically giving a little bit more than 10 gifts. So those that I personally select from the comments from the regular video, regular chat, is not included in the 10 that we are giving away, okay? All right, so moving on. Number six is Lisa Hamilton. Oh, this is a common name. All right, so number six, the winner is Lisa Hamilton. And I'm going to write it down for you guys to see. Lisa, if you're watching, comment and let us know that you are here. L I S A H A M I L T O N. It's even very easy to spell. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> so Lisa, comment, comment, and let I don't know. I don't, I, I'm scrolling back to see if there's anyone on the chat with you know that name. And so far, I'm seeing nothing in my site. So let's scroll to the bottom. Now, if you comment, if you hear your name call and you comment and you don't see it come up on the screen comment a second time because i don't see all the comments from my end okay so our sixth winner is lisa hamilton so let's move on to number, number seven. seven all right so our seventh winner is amita missiver hmm. amita missiver right. no almeta Almeta. Or it could be Almeta or Almeta, depending on where they live. And and the last name is uh, Missiver or Mickiver. All right, we're going to write this one down. This one is a little difficult. So we are giving number seven to A L M E T A. And the last name is M I C I V E R. If you are on the chat, comment, comment, comment. All right, comment, comment, comment if you are on the chat. All right, so we are moving on. Let's Number see. Eight. So far, no, I thought it was my name, Amika. Amika, how many gifts you want to get? You actually won something last week, right? All right. Your name is in the bag, so you just never know. All right, so let's move on. Okay, all right. So next winner, what so, number are we? Number eight. Number eight, Judy's going to read number eight. So for gift number eight, it will go to Zen Molina. All right. I'm not familiar with none of these names. All right, so our next gift is Zen, Z-E-N, Molina, and we're going to write this down. And this is number what? Z-E-N and M-O-L-M-O-L-I-N-A. So here is gift number eight. Yeah, we're on time. Gift number eight, Zen Molina coming from the bag. So far, I'm yet to see someone on the chat be like, yeah, <laughs> still waiting, still waiting. Come on, guys. Come on, pull the, the names that. All right. Uh, I mean, come on, Oshin. Do something for somebody on the chat up. right now. Come on. Shaking it. Do something. Grab it. I just want someone on the chat to get Teresa some. Rowe. Keisha. 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 Oh, I actually know this name. I don't see this person on the chat. So our next winner, winner number what? Nine. Whoa. Winner number nine is uh, Keisha Rowe. Let's see if Keisha is at it. K-E-I-S-H-A. Keisha R-O-W-E. All right. Is Keisha Rowe anywhere on the chat? Oh, boy. Don't tell me. I, I want to give somebody that is watching right now something. <laughs> Come on, guys. Pull one of them name out of the bag. All right. So for the final gift from the bag, we'll go to 
Let's see if this person's online. Mm -hmm. Juliana Robertson. Oh, I think she's. Uh, wait, 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 let me not get excited. I'm almost sure I saw her earlier. Yes, Juliana yeah. Robinson. She's there. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. yes. All right, finally Let's somebody on the chat. Number ten. Number yeah. ten. <laughs> <laughs> number ten goes to J U L I A N A. R O B E R. This is what T O? Yeah. T S O N. T S O N. So, you know what to do. First time someone on the chat is getting um, a gift. So, you know what to do. You send your address, your phone number, so you could receive your gift. I like when people are on the chat, like in the moment. So, guess what I'm going to do? Since none of these people is on the chat, and I'm sure some of them might not come because these are like names that I don't see, I think we should give away two more gifts. Yeah. Now, more. let's hope yes. we're getting somebody from the chat. All right, guys, we are pushing it a little. We're really, really pushing it, trying to get somebody from the chat. We're not biased. We want to do it fair. So I'm not going to be like, you know, get the name on the chat right now and pull a name <laughs> from it. That would take us like a couple of hours to get all the names. So we're hoping that somebody in the bag is on the chat. All right, Norma Cox. Oh God, let's see. Oh, Norma, are my, you here? I doubt it. <laughs> Some people watching and not commenting. All right, so our next winner is N O R M. A and C O C K S. All right, so is Norma so on? Your lucky all right, come on, Trudy. All right, Norma for our our eleventh. Now we get into twelve. All right, let's see something good, Trudy. Come on, come on. Asia, Asia, oh, are you here? Oh boy, <laughs> Asia, Asia. Asia. <laughs> All right, we're gonna write this A S I A Asia A S I A. Is Asia Asia watching? Oh my goodness! All right, guys. So the winner is what is wrong with um, why would they even block that? The C O C K, you know, and that's actually somebody name. So we're gonna oh. show it. Yeah. All right, so guys, that complete. The names from the bag. So I was gonna do name by name by name, but I'm gonna call some names out, guys. And if you hear your name called, you are gonna send your address, your email. Well, your email address is gonna be there, your phone number, your home address. Don't forget the zip code. Somebody's asking about Kisha Rowe. Yes, Kisha Rowe is one of the winner. If you are on, identify yourself. Let's see. All right. Nobody so far. Some people is going to come and watch the show after. Because most people watch the show after. So they might, you know, be able to see their names. All right. So we're going to call some names now. If you are watching and you're on the chat, you are going to send. And I select these names from the regular um videos you watch constantly you comment you always watching and i select a couple of names i think i selected about five names and the first one was milleris the next one is rita ohm the next one is magdalene the next one is makeup forever and what am i forgetting i didn't lucy definitely lucy and um there's one name that i'm missing there's one name that I'm missing. Uh, let's see if the person is on the chat. I'm missing a name. Did I say Magdalene? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I did say Magdalene. There's somebody else. But anyway, if um if I didn't call your name and your name is on it, uh, most likely I will find a means and ways of getting in touch with you. So we have Lucy, um, Magdalene. We have um, Makeup Forever, Rita Holmes. Yeah, there was another person. I already said Millie Riz, right? 
Um, let me see if the person is on the chat. Anyway, I have your name. I'll get in touch with you. Come also you that I'm calling right now. I already have some of you information. So those that I call that is not from the 10, just send your information over and you are getting a little token because you are always commenting on the regular videos. You're always supporting the chat. You're always asking people to comment and you're always, always just you know, just ear for us. All right. So guys, if you did not hear your name, I'm really, really sorry. We, you know, do our best, but what I'm going to do, I am going to keep these names. And I think this is fair. I'm going to keep these names and I'm going to give these people a week is good. Yeah. A yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we're going to give these people a week because some of these names are really strange. Some of these names could be just somebody passing through, might never come back and watch, we don't know. So I'm gonna keep these names for one week. And if they don't turn up with their address and information for the gift, I'm gonna come back on like probably two weeks from now is fair. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna mm -hmm. just give them two weeks. And I'm gonna, whatever is not collected we're gonna keep the bag and we're gonna go back in and we're gonna draw some more names i think that is fair because we really want to give away the 10 gifts and if these people don't turn up it would mean that you know some of you who could get these gifts you know it's like you know so anyway two weeks for these people to turn up and if not we're gonna come back on and give away the gifts to somebody that is watching on our current show all right and if you guys think that is fair Comment, comment, or thumbs the video up. All right, guys, so that is our giveaway. How do I feel about the giveaway this year? A little, little disappointed that some of my favorite people on the chat wasn't included, but we got to keep it fair, and this is the best way we know how to do it, by taking the comment from the chat. Hi, Jason, how are you? And um, just um, bear with me. We wish we could give everybody something. We don't. So as I said, if you think it's okay for us to come back two weeks, if these people don't come on and collect their gifts and give it to somebody that is on the chat, comment and let me know if it's fair, okay? I just want to be fair in whatever I do. All right, guys. So that is wrapping up the year. Say your bye-bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye. No, they can't say bye. No, 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 no. All the new All year is from 2020. <laughs> uh, come, Ashia, let me see your face. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. So what I'm going to be doing for these guys, we are going to, I am going to be making them duck for dinner. So that's what's <laughs> what keep us up before the show started and we were like running late i oh guys you get dressed and everything <laughs> <laughs> so we are gonna wrap the show up and we are gonna go cook like you know sunday dinner shit talk and you know probably go over some of these names and put a gift to the names or something and just wait for people to get in touch with us i am so grateful for everything guys uh it has been a good year for me i hope it has been a good year for you guys also and next year we're gonna come with much better things and i want to interact with you more next year and someone was asking about the vlog channel yes the vlog channel we have been talking about it all year like oh we're gonna vlog and you know this wasn't happening but coming next year it's gonna be happening we're starting out with two to three videos per week so you're going to get a chance to see a little more behind the scene. And I'm going to be showing a little videos, a few videos with these girls before they go away. And guy, before they go back home. So definitely, definitely I'm excited about the coming year. And those of you who have been with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. For all you newbies, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope next year you'll hear your name. And we are going to be doing some meet up very soon guys so for those of you who have been begging for the meet up we're going to be doing some meet up we just have to make sure it's like totally organized okay guys and for those of you out there in jamaica who's always be like so when you come at jamaica guess what guys hopefully next year i will be coming to jamaica so stay tuned for that i love you guys have a blessed week i hope you had a great year and i hope next year will bring you everything that your art desire love you guys be good to yourself and uh, do some facial okay remember wash your face twice per week and oh, oh 
Oh yeah. my God, see how excited I am? Wash your face twice a week, twice per day, exfoliate the skin at least twice per week, do some facial masks, some facial massages, facial toner, serum, and you name it. Watch the video, watch the channel, follow the channel, and you're gonna get some great tips and some amazing things coming up this year. Thank you so much, Lucy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for always monitoring the chat and you know making sure everything go right. I so appreciate you and I will talk to you off year. And Rita Holmes, always here. Thank you so much. Makeup Forever, appreciate you. Annette Williams, I remember you, still remember you. And we also have um really um Mill Riz, always, always, Loretta Grace. I, if I miss your name, guys, you know that, you know, I can say all the name right now, but I know you guys is always here. And from time to time, I'll give you your personal, individual shout out. Okay, guys, be good. I'm out of here next year for our new Let's Talk Skincare and Sunday Chit Chat. Yes, we're going to bring back Let's Talk Skincare. So far, the review, the comments and all of that make it possible to bring it back same time every Friday, 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And Sunday Chit Chat will always be 4.30 p.m. on a Sunday Pacific time. Be good to yourself, love yourself, and take care of your skin because if you don't, no one else is going to do it for you. So be, I'm still looking to see if there's someone coming up with their give. Keisha Rowe, what is the email? Oh, Keisha Rowe is on. Yes, it's um, chichibeauty at gmail.com. So here Keisha Rowe is on. So one person did turn up out of the bun. Send your email to chichibeauty. And the link is below, Keisha, right below. You're going to see the email always, always in the description box. All right, guys, we are running, but I'm still searching. Still searching. All right, there's nobody else. All right, get in touch with me. If you're, should we repeat the names one more time? Yeah. Um, first name is Elizabeth Lersoso. The next name is Zen Molina. And our other is Lisa Hamilton. Um, Almeta Ma. Okay, spell this one M I C I V E R. We also have um, Asia Asia. We also have Norma Cock. We are, I hope they don't um, eat us for that because somebody write, I wrote the name out and the system block it for just saying that. I don't know, Juliana Robinson. We also have um, Claudia Maran. We have Keisha Rowe. We also have Essie um, Lobion, L-M-O-U-B-I-O-N. We have um, Yaman. Um, G H A N E M, and the last name was Lisa McLean, and those are the 10. And for the other names that I call, you know yourself, you just send your email, no, your home address along with the phone number. Do not forget to send the phone number, okay? All right, guys, that's it. Thank you for a wonderful year. If I'm coming to Guyana, yes, very, very soon I will be in Guyana also. All right, guys, bye. Love you guys. Ta-ta!